Heart block, Wikipedia audio. Heart block is a disease or inherited condition that causes a fault within the heart's natural pacemaker due to some kind of obstruction in the electrical conduction system of the heart. Despite the severe sounding name, heart block may often cause no symptoms at all in some cases, or occasional missed heartbeats in other cases, and palpitations, or may require an artificial pacemaker to be implanted depending upon exactly where in the heart conduction is being impaired and how significantly it is affected. In severe cases where the heart's ability to control and trigger heartbeats may be completely ineffective or unreliable, heart block can usually be treated by inserting an artificial pacemaker, a medical device that provides correct electrical impulses to trigger heartbeats compensating for the natural pacemaker's unreliability. Therefore, heart block frequently has no effects, or mild and occasional effects, and is not life-threatening in the vast majority of cases, and is usually treatable in more serious cases. The human heart uses electrical signals to maintain and initiate the regular heartbeat in a living person. Incorrect conduction can lead to mild or serious symptoms depending upon the location of the blockage and how severely conduction is being blocked. Conduction is initiated by the sinoatrial node, and then travels to the atrioventricular node which also contains a secondary pacemaker that acts as a backup for the SA nodes, then to the bundle of his and then via the bundle branches to the point of the apex of the fascicular branches. Blockages are therefore classified based on where the blockage occurs, namely the SA node, AV node, and at or below the bundle of his. Infrahesion blocks may occur at the left or right bundle branches or the fascicles of the left bundle branch. SA and AV node blocks are each divided into three degrees, with second degree blocks being divided into two types. The term Wenkebach block is also used for second-degree type 1 blocks of either the SA or AV node, in addition second-degree blocks type 1 and 2 are also sometimes known as Mobitz 1 and Mobitz 2. Types Clinically speaking, the blocks tend to have more serious potential the closer they are to the end of the electrical path, and less serious effects the closer they are to the start because the potential disruption becomes greater as more of the path is blocked from its end point. Therefore, most of the important heart blocks are AV nodal blocks and infrahesion blocks. SA blocks are usually of lesser clinical significance, since in the event of SA block, the AV node contains a secondary pacemaker which would still maintain a heart rate of around 40 to 60 beats per minute sufficient for consciousness and much of daily life in the majority of individuals. Following the path of the electrical signals, the places where conduction can be blocked give rise to different kinds of heart blocks. SA node Wenkebach, SA node Mobitz 2, SA node Exit Block SA and AV node blocks are each divided into three degrees with second-degree blocks being divided into two types. In an SA block, the electrical impulse is delayed or blocked on the way to the atria, thus delaying atrial depolarization. By contrast, an AV block occurs in the AV node and delays ventricular depolarization. The term Wenkebach block is also used for some heart blocks, and can refer to a second-degree type I block in either the SA node or the AV node, however the ECG features of the two are quite distinctly different. SA blocks rarely give severe symptoms, because even if an individual had complete block at this level of the conduction system, the secondary pacemaker of the heart would be at the AV node, which would fire at 40 to 60 beats a minute which is enough to retain consciousness in the resting state. However SA block is capable of causing problematic symptoms even so, 
and may also hint at conduction issues elsewhere in the heart, and therefore SA blocks are, despite their lower level of life-threatening risk, still the most common indication for pacemaker implantation in the U.S. Types of SA nodal blocks include In addition to the above blocks, the SA node can be suppressed by any other arrhythmia that reaches it. This includes retrograde conduction from the ventricles, ectopic atrial beats, atrial fibrillation, and atrial flutter. The difference between SA node block and SA node suppression is that in SA node block an electrical impulse is generated by the SA node that doesn't make the atria contract. In SA node suppression, on the other hand, the SA node doesn't generate an electrical impulse because it is reset by the electrical impulse that enters the SA node. First degree AV block, second degree AV block, type I second degree AV block, also known as Wenkebach block, type II second degree AV block, due to a block in or below the bundle of his. There are three basic types of AV nodal block. Infrahysian block is that of the distal conduction system. Types of infrahysian block include Type 2 second degree heart block A type of AV block due to a block within or below the bundle of his, left anterior fascicular block, left posterior fascicular block. SA nodal blocks Of these types of infrahysian block, Mobitz II heart block is considered most important because of the possible progression to complete heart block. AV nodal blocks Infrahysian block